Eric, you guys have had some close battles with Milwaukee so far this year, but what's given you guys the edge against this team? Uh, I'm not really sure. You know, we've, like you said, it's a lot of the games going overtime. Uh, we're back and forth, and uh, obviously we're tied in the standing. So it's uh, pretty evenly matched teams, and um, hopefully the home ice will give us the advantage tonight. You know, we played hard 60 minutes uh, against these guys, and um, I think we've just had their number this year. And um, you know, it's always been a battle with these guys, and um, you know, sometimes that happens in the season, but. Um, you know, I think we just need to keep pushing and uh, you know separate ourselves from these guys. You're a guy who's been down the stretch before in a playoff race. Now you're just outside the final 20 games. Uh, what's your message to the team? Uh, it's time. You know, uh, we've learned a lot during the season. It's time for everyone to step up. You know, we got guys up, but that's the AHL. Everyone's got guys up and guys hurt and. Um, you come together as a team a little bit more, more guys give opportunities, and sometimes it's a little more simple game when, uh, when you have these guys in the lineup. So uh, that's what we're going to preach, hard work, and be a frustrating team to play against. And the shots have been there for the team. It's just been the question of finding the back of the net. Is it just uh, puck luck for the team right now? Uh, it's a little bit of puck luck. Um, you know, I th we're, I, the shots are definitely there. Um, I think we need more traffic in front, though. We've got to get guys going to the net a little more, get to those dirty areas. Uh, and I think we'll find the back of the net a little bit more. Anytime you're at home, um, I feel like we haven't been here in a while. You know, we two games against Tucson, and that's the last time. So um, anytime we're at home, we want to get points. And um, three games in a row before we head out again. So first one means a lot.